Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review, and hello and welcome to the next part of Joey Logano Week. Today we're going to be taking a look at his 2015 Pennzoil Platinum Ford. Let's take a quick look at the box. Once again, the kind of generic box for 2015. Picture Logano, side of the car, 22, Joey Logano, Team Penske. Joey Logano, picture Logano. Made a total of 709 of these things, 22, all that typical stuff you would see by now. As I've said multiple, multiple, and multiple times over. I'm not a fan of the generic boxes. Here is the car itself, and it is just a beautiful car. This is one of my favorite Pennzoil cars, and one of my favorite Joey Legato cars. Like, this is just such an amazing paint scheme. I'm glad it lasted basically like a year and a half. This first popped out in 2014, in the fall of 2014, at Charlotte. It was kind of weird, that silver car we took a look at yesterday, that was initially supposed to run both races, but then suddenly this race came around and was like, whoa, what is this car? Somebody just saw it in like the background of some like family photo at Penske. It was like, why is there this bright blue and yellow car? And it looks fantastic on the lights, and then they kept it the next year, which is this is this one, 2015, where it ran at Las Vegas and Phoenix. They actually got a pole at Las Vegas. It ran like the top five both races, so very successful paint scheme. Let's do a quick 360 of the car. This is just such a... I don't know. I don't know why I love this car so much, but just like the light blue with the black and the yellow just makes for an amazing combination. I'm definitely glad it got produced. They did actually offer it in 2014. They offered the Chase version of it in 2014, but it got DMP'd sadly, so everyone was kind of worried there for a second, but luckily it did get made in 2015. I would have loved to have the pair of them because it's kind of cool to have a regular and a Chase version of something, but oh well. I imagine if we won the championship in 2015, it probably, or 2014, it probably would have been made. Well, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Pennzoil Platinum and Shell. You have Ford Fusion number 22. On the side, you have Shell Pennzoil, Platinum, Auto Trader, and Snap-on. Got Discount Tire and AAA. AutoZone and SKF on the C-Post. And on the B-Post, you have Ford, PPG, Mazak, Coca-Cola, and Hertz. On the back, you have 22 Crew, Shell Pennzoil, Hashtag Motor Oil Reimagined, number 22, and Ford. On the deck lid, you have hashtag motor oil reimagined. This is number 625. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. What's it? Open. <laughs> see that it says Shell and Pennzoil, powered by Ford. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Take a look under the deck lid. You get your typical fuel cell and such back there. The roof flaps do, in fact, open. Or not. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> There's the underside of the car if you want to see that. I do like how this car has like black rims but with nothing else. You know what I mean? Like the, the, there's no like yellow line or anything around the edge of the tire. It's just a solid black rim. Looks kind of cool like that. If you want more Lionel QC issues, you can see the edge of the uh, thing right there is kind of chipped up a little bit. Right there and right on the very, very corner of it. So it kind of does look, you look like right there, you can see that it's kind of chipped through a little bit there. That's definitely a shame, but oh well. Anything else in this car? A little bit on the edge of the uh, roof flap there. But like, if you're really picky about quality control issues, then this is just not the hobby for you. Like, yes, there's times where you get horrifically bad cars you kind of need to return or get a replacement for, but. If little tiny things, like a little chip here or something, bugs you, you're really not going to last in this album. Because <laughs> that's like literally every... So I've never gotten a perfect car. <laughs> or I don't think I have. I probably have, but... Oh well. So now, prepare thyself for the worst 164 scale diecast ever produced by man. Holy shit, did they fuck this car up. <laughs> but like I said, this is one of my favorite paint schemes of all time, so... Why did they fuck this up so much? I mean, just look at how off that color is in this car. It's supposed to be one color, the same blue. This one has, like, sort of the right color blue on the roof, but then the rest of the car is, like, this weird black blue, like, dark, weird, distorted. See, it doesn't even... You kind of see, it looks like the color was right on the car. They just kind of, like, the wrap wasn't. I don't know. But that's just... It is awful. This is, like, definitely one of the worst diecast ever. They've ever produced. They're fucked up <laughs> this much. I mean, I don't know what they were trying here. I mean, it is WLS or whatever. Or no, PTC. So, see, PTC still does fuck thing on... <laughs> it's like, uh, some people act like WLS is awesome and PTC was like... Or, not WLS is awesome. WLS was like, screwed up everything and PTC was like, better. They really had a few better cars, but... 
As you can see, it's still not very good here. If you want this car, it's a little bit hard to get because it was kind of a popular special paint scheme. I would recommend picking it up, the 124. I'd never even pay attention to the 164. <laughs> but I would definitely recommend picking this up. But I think I've changed all to say. This has been the sixth part of Joey Logano Week. Stay tuned for a special finale. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.